Floss Tube. It's Tiffany from Tip and Stitches. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Um, this is, I think, Floss Tube number 12. I probably should look before I jumped on here, but um, I did try to film this video yesterday and I tried to flip my phone around, but my tripod, my boyfriend borrowed my tripod and so it's at his parents' house. And so I tried to flip my phone around, but I couldn't see anything. And like I chopped my head off right here the whole time I was talking. So I'm refilming this <laughs> because that was unattractive. Um, but anyways, uh, hi, it's been two weeks since my last video. I'm excited to be doing another one. I feel like I'm getting back into a rhythm. Um, I'm in a new location today. This is our dining room is what it's technically made for, but we turned it into an office. So right here, this is my desk. I have a personal computer and then my work computer. So I have like two computers right now. Um, and then I have like a little shelf behind my chair. Um, and then on the other side of the room is my boyfriend's kind of music setup. He um, does music, music engineering, so like produces music, records music, things like that. And then he um, plays guitar. So he's got some guitars on the wall. And uh, so that's his side of the room. This is my side of the room. So we share it. Um, but I thought it would be a fun place. Plus, I have a good window right here to get some good natural lighting in here. So, um, I just, I guess I'll give you an update on my week or my two weeks since I've seen you last. Um, I am fighting off a sinus infection right now. Uh, it's not COVID, uh, but we did have a little bit of a scare with that. My boyfriend's coworker tested positive. He got it from his mom and um, came to work and worked with my boyfriend. So my boyfriend had to go through this whole situation of getting tested and all this stuff because um, he did have like some of the symptoms, but he never ran a fever. And um, I was fine and the kids were fine. And then last week on Thursday night, I started getting like bad sinus stuff. So I have like a, I have so much pressure like up in here. So if I sound funny, I am sorry. But the good thing is, is it gave me, I needed to slow down, I needed to relax last weekend so that I could feel better. So I watched a lot of floss tube and I got a lot of stitching done. So I'm excited to show you guys what I worked on. I actually have two finishes. I know, four in my whole life and two in two weeks. Can you believe it? Now I'm at six for my whole life, but um, I'm excited to show you those. And I, um, like I said, watched a lot of floss tube. So I, uh, <coughs> sorry, I, oh, it's cute. There's a doggy outside. Um, I was going back and kind of just refreshing my memory of who the floss tubers were and who I used to watch because I literally just like hadn't watched anything, um, in such a long time. And so I, noticed that Pam and Steph were still making videos and they were like some of my favorites back in the day. And I'm not gonna lie, the last two weeks I spent a lot of time re-watching over a hundred videos. <laughs> but I didn't watch the whole video. Like they made two hour videos. Ain't nobody got time for that. I would fast forward to the part where they showed their stitching, their finishes, and their back from the framer. And then I would move on to the next one. So it was like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, like here and there. Um, but I did rewatch them and it was kind of cool because I got to see the episode where Pam stitched the Frankenstein pattern that I had sent her, kitted up and sent her. And I totally forgot I had done that. And then she was like, Tip and Stitches got me this. And I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe it. But she sewed it and it looked so cute. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, and other than that, I mean, I'm all caught up with them now, so that's great. Um, I found some new floss tubers. I, um, I don't know. I, I watched Jennifer from Whistle Stop. I watched her latest video. I watched Nell's latest video. I watched Kia B, um, cause Steph started, obviously they became friends since I stitched last. And so Steph mentioned her a lot in the videos. And so I went and checked her out. And I think it's really cool that her and her husband stitch. It's so cool to see that there's some male stitchers on floss tube. And I'm trying to convince my boyfriend. Because he, he watches me stitch and he's like, man, I wish I could do that. I couldn't do that. And I'm like, you could totally do it. You could totally do it. So I'm trying to convince him. Put in the comments that you guys want him to stitch. Say, Marcus, you need to try it. Um, and then I'll show him all the comments and maybe he'll do it. But 
um, I showed him the video last night. I was like, look, her husband stitches. He has a beard. You have a beard. Y'all are manly. You can both do it. So I'm trying to convince him. But um, anyways, uh, Carter's doing great. He's at his dad's. I pick him up in just a little bit. And Jackson is doing good. He turned eight months old on Tuesday. Um, so he's doing great. He has learned in the past two weeks, he's learned how to clap. He's learned how to wave. He's learned how to high five. Um, he just like, it all clicked at once. I've been practicing with him. I'm like, clap your hands, buddy. And, uh, he would look at me and like, just stare at me and, but never do it. And then it just all clicked. And now I can't get him to stop. He's just like, he's like one of those little monkeys <laughs> like that you wind up, you know, he just claps all day. Um, but everybody's doing good. And uh, we're about to go look at a house. So I think I mentioned in my last video that we're getting ready to hopefully move. Um, but we're gonna go look at my, like from the pictures, it looks like it could be my dream home. So I'm super stoked about that. But yeah, that's really it. Uh, nothing else I can really think about. I have my two finishes to show you. I have some haul to show you. I have whips to show you. And then I did find, um, I'll show you this first. Last week, or last video I mentioned that I thought I was missing a whip. I was like, I swear I have this other one, but I don't know where it is. Um, I found it. So I'll show you guys that. And um, it's, the pattern is called, is it on here? It's by Country Cottage Needleworks. It's called Spring Birds. And I don't, I don't have the cover sheet for it because I told you guys I just have working copies of these things. Um, my boyfriend's back, so he might potentially come in and interrupt this video. He just drove into the driveway. So I started this and my needle has it to where I can't open it. I know this is picture this plus, plus fabric. I do not know what the name of it is, it's in the bag. Most of the time I try to leave the tags for the fabric like in the bag. Hi babe. Hi. I'm filming. I'm <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> uh, I don't know which way this goes either. Don't even get me lying to you, but I have like the center. I started in the center of the pattern. So I have like some of the stuff in the center done. So that's my other whip I didn't get to show you guys. And, okay. So my first finish is a freebie that I did for July 4th. I was feeling like I wanted to stitch something patriotic and I had some scrap fabric. I had all the DMC. You guys know I have a full set of DMC. So I got a free freebie. I was like, I don't want to go out and buy anything, but I'll get something free. So I can show you guys this. This is a chart. It is just a flag and it's called cross stitch patriotic patchwork flag. And it's not kidding. It is color changes galore, but I think that the effect turned out perfect. If you can see that there's like two different colors of red, two different colors of white, two different colors of blue, and backstitch. So it's like 1,600 stitches, um, full coverage. So it was a little bit more of a beast than I expected it to be when I printed it out, but that's okay. I did switch one color out on it. So I will link this pattern below, but if you guys want it to look like mine, um, I did switch out. I did not have DMC 221. Um, I guess they were out of it when I bought my full set. So I switched that for DMC, it's the darker red, 3777. So everything else was called for. This is the only thing I switched out, but I think it turned out to look really perfect. So, um, oh, and the white, I just used Blanc. Is that what it asked for? No, it asked for 3865 and I used Blanc. So, um, so this is my finish get it close enough where you can see the details so that's it it turned out super cute and I actually got the fabric in to finish it so I went online and I was like let me see if I can find a fabric that will look cute so I, I want to potentially try my hand at making this into a pillow I have a sewing machine and it's very dusty it hasn't been used in years and even when it was used it was maybe used twice so I can't guarantee I'm gonna be able to do it 
But if I can't, if I if I give it my best effort and I can't do it, then I'll probably send it somewhere, maybe to keepsakes to get finished or something by Jan, because I've heard a lot about her in the last couple weeks. Um, but I was pretty proud of myself. I ordered this fabric online without obviously seeing it in person, and it is perfect. It is so perfect for this pattern. So this is the fabric that I got, and I did get a whole yard. Um, and it's just a really pretty patriotic plaid, but like, look at the colors. Like, could it be more perfect? It's going to be awesome. So we'll see if I can make a pillow and if not, we will pay somebody else to do it. Okay. Cause I, I would love to have this to put out for, um, maybe like in like a bowl on the coffee table for July 4th and Memorial day and stuff. So. That is the plan for that finish. So super stoked about that. I started this, I didn't say this, I started it on July 4th and I think it took me three or four days to finish it. So um, it wasn't too bad. It was just, it was a lot of um, color changes. So a lot of stitching in between other stitches, um, which I know some people don't like. So the next thing is another finish. I told you guys last video that I, was wanting to get back to my farmhouse Christmas um, series. And I didn't, like I was, initially I was gonna redo the barn first, um, but I didn't really feel like it when I sat down to stitch. I was like, I've already done that one. I wanna do something new. And um, so I let my boyfriend pick. <laughs> I was like, pick which one I should do. And he picked grandma's quilt. So that's this one. And I finished it. I had a little bit of trouble with this guy because I was sick and I think my brain was fuzzy. And I got off count on the green and had to frog like half of it um, and put it back in. But that is that. And I told you guys last week, but I am stitching this on 28 count raw natural cashel. And I got a big enough piece um, to where I'm gonna stitch more pieces on the same fabric. Before and then when I finish it, I'll cut them apart. But that is that one. So that is all done and I will move on to a new pattern with that probably soon. But I do have a whip that I'm going to be exclusively working on probably for the next two weeks. Um, so my video will probably be a little bit more boring <laughs> the next time because I'm only gonna have one project. Um, but I'll show you guys that one in just a second. Um, and the other whip I worked on that's not this new focus whip is the one I told you guys about last week, um, which is Country Cottage Needleworks Garden Party. So that's this, and I've kind of come to a stopping point on this because I'm missing hickory sticks, which is um, one of the main threads in the pattern I'm working right now. Um, and I, if I don't have it, I would have to count like crazy and I don't want to get off on my count because that's never fun. So I've already had to frog this guy enough. <laughs> um, so there's a little thread in the way. Let me. And I know I had made a little bit of progress on this when I showed you guys last week, but I did. I know I did more of the frame of the ladybug pattern. So that is where I'm at on that. And that is being stitched on 28 count mushroom Lugana. So. Um, once I get the hickory sticks in, you know, if anybody has one, I can purchase from you because I called, it's been multiple weeks since I went into the LNS and I called them and they still don't have any shipments in from, um, what Co classic color works. Sorry. I was going blank. They don't have any shipments in. So, um, I don't know when that will be coming in. So the last whip that I have is the one that I was telling you guys about that I am working exclusively on and I am making this as a gift um, for my boyfriend's aunt. She unfortunately just found out that she is going to be battling breast cancer um, and she has surgery on the 28th of this month. So I'm making her this as a gift. I already ordered a custom frame for it, which I'll tell you guys a little bit about. I'm super excited. I've never custom framed a project before, but I felt like if I was going to start with any of them, this would be the best one. Um, and I saw this pattern. I was watching Pam and Steph's videos and I had already purchased this pattern years ago as a PDF and just never stitched it and forgot about it. And then I was watching Pam and Steph's videos and Steph stitched this and it reminded me that I had it and like the message of it is just 
so perfect for um, what she's going through and everything like that. So um, I am working solely because I have a date that I want to get this done on a single step by Stitch Rovia. So this is the pattern. I'm sure you guys have seen it. It's bright, it's cheery, and that definitely like embodies his aunt. She's like one of the brightest people that you'll ever meet. And um, the message, you know, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, just kind of represents taking it one step at a time because her diagnosis is just really overwhelming, I think. And um, she's got a lot, a long journey ahead of her. So I just, I thought that this quote was perfect for that. And then the color palette and everything just was totally her. So. Um, this, I've been putting a lot of time into this, so this is where I'm at. So I've completely finished miles and then the, the stick here, the word begins. I just have a little bit of back stitch to do around it in the dark green, um, with a, the butterfly is done. Single is completely done and back stitched. We've got a little hot air balloon and then I started the word step down there. So I'm currently working my way down and then I'm gonna go back up. So that is where we're at. The frame I ordered is supposed to be ready. Um, oh, a bird just flew out the window, scared me. Um, the frame is supposed to be ready on the 26th. Um, and then hopefully, I don't know if I'll film again before I gift this to her, but I will take a picture of it and we'll talk about it in the next video if that's the case. But the frame that I got is a custom frame because the dimensions to this are not standard, not standard frame. I mean, I'm sure I could make it work, but I wanted it to really look nice. And I also wanted a mat around it. So the mats that I'm doing are going to pull out the light pink, which is in this, this um, single ticket block. And then there's a bright pink that's in the word thousand, which goes up here. And those two colors, I wanted to focus on the pinks because of breast cancer. So um, it's gonna have a double mat and a white frame with kind of like a floral ornate design to it. Um, so I think it's gonna be really pretty. So I am going to um, put this on sticky board and lace it myself. And then I'm gonna take it to Hobby Lobby and they're gonna put it together for me on the 26th. So. I will take a picture of that and make sure I show you guys once it's complete. Um, but I am just trucking away trying to get this done because I want to give it to her before her surgery. So, um, yeah, that is my last whip that I have worked on in the last two weeks. So I've been stitching a ton more than probably you've ever seen in a video from me before. Um, but I'm really enjoying it. It's been um, very relaxing to just turn my brain off from some of the crazy that's going on in the world um, because like we just found out that Texas is probably going to shut down again and it's just we're back where we started and it's you know it's kind of hard sometimes to mentally deal with all of that um, but this has been a therapeutic escape for me to stitch so it's exciting um, the last thing I have to show you guys is just a little bit of haul I ooh. <laughs> When I was getting, I had to get a couple of colors of DMC for my Stitch Rovia pattern. I think I was missing three. Um, so I went to get those and while I was there, I just went ahead and picked up all of the new colors of DMC 1 through 34, I think it is. Um, I need to bobinate them, but I have them in a bag, so it's all of the new colors. So I should, if I don't have a full set, I'm like, I'm so close. Um, so, you know, there might be a few I'm missing, but... Now I have these. So I got those, that's part of my haul. I, and then the fabric that I'm, I didn't tell you guys, the fabric that I'm stitching on, um, a single step on, is 32 count um, Belfast linen from Zweigart that you can just get at Hobby Lobby. And it comes in like a pack and it was too big. So I have an extra piece of, of that. And I just got the bright white because I, the colors are so bright with Stitch Rovia patterns that I wanted it to pop. So. Um, this is my extra piece of that, and that's what the other pattern is stitched on. So, um, I think that's everything. Shorter video today. I got through it pretty fast. Um, but, yeah, I enjoyed all of your comments last week. Thank you for welcoming me back. Um, it's nice to know that there's uh, still some people out there that remember me. Um, 
Julie from Kansas City Girl in the Colorado World. Hey girl, uh, I saw your comment, it's been a while. And um, there, was a, there was a bunch of you that welcomed me back and said congratulations on my new little one. So I appreciate it so, so much. Um, definitely reach out in the comments. I enjoy interacting with you guys. And I should be back in two weeks. I don't know how much I'll have to show you. I should have some haul. I ordered um, the new Quaker pumpkin pattern from Hello from Liz Matthews. Have you guys seen that? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So I'm, I'm not going to buy a ton. Like I said, I want to focus on my whips. I have a lot to work on. But I'm also cleaning out some whips. I started thinking about it. And like some of the stuff I'd started, I just don't think I would finish. Um, two years later, like I'm, I'm in a different place and my aesthetic maybe has changed a little bit. So there might be some things that I, I tear out a few stitches and, and do something different. And then there's a few whips that I definitely want to focus on and get done. Um, my farmhouse Christmas being one of them, I want to get those stitched. And then um, there's a couple other ones that I really want to get back to. So um, but that's the only haul that I'll probably have come in. If it comes in, it's a pre-order. I got it from Top Knot Stitcher. So Abby at Top Knot, I ordered from her website and it was a pre-order. So I'm not sure when that's shipping. Um, but I got the threads from one, two, three stitch for that. And I got some fabric from Color and Cotton, which was the call called for it, so that I can work on that project. So when that comes in, I'm super excited to start that because it is absolutely beautiful. If you haven't seen it, go check out Liz Matthews' latest video because it is so pretty. Like, knocked it out of the park. Cannot wait. I had never heard of her. She's a new designer since I've been gone, but like, cannot wait to stitch that. So I should have some haul. Other than that, uh, that's really it. So you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful two weeks, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.